Cecil to TSO Zebra Bay. Fort Cecil to TSO Zebra Bay. Do you read me? Confirming supply delivery. What? And welcome back to Blood of the Cybermen, everyone. Uh, we've just managed to apparently wipe out the Cybermats using an improvised EMB device from an SOS beacon. Doctor Who logic. Um, and then we've had to fend off a cyber slave using Amy here. She died about four times because this was a bit manic. Now, what is this big device over here? Hello, we've got some more. What's that? Perfect. A nano synthesizer, just what Professor Meadows needs. She can get a sample of the cyber virus from this. Come on. Well, that's convenient. Fort Cecil to GSO Zebra Bay. Fort Cecil to GSO Zebra Bay. Do you read me? Confirming supply delivery. What? They can't, they can't come here. We have to stop them. Fort Cecil, this is GSO Zebra Bay. Stay away. Do you hear me? Stay away. Do you read us? It's not working. Of the capacitor's blown. Like that means anything to me. Look, this is it. I have to get back to Professor Meadows. Find another capacitor, Amy. Get the radio working again and warn Fort Cecil. And she now I'm a radio no engineer. Evidence. Great. Did she not just say she does not know what a capacitor is? Apparently playing more as Amy is. Now there are apparently three acts to this, and we are presently in Act 2. Ooh, act Cyber Biology. Normal bullets cannot harm Cybermen, but they are vulnerable to attack from electromagnetic weaponry or Dalek firepower. As famously, famously seen in the new series episode Doomsday, which, which pits its army of Cybermen versus five Daleks. Although they're sturdier than humans, Cybermen do have some physical weaknesses. For instance, some early Cybermen in Cannibal Doctor had a fatal aversion to gold, as recently seen in Nightmare and Silver, which was a fun episode for me. Early forms of the Cybermen, created by John Lumick, were able to deliver deadly electrical charges through their hands. It was an ability they, they employed to shocking effect. Whoever wrote this Cyberfact should die for that pun. But uh, anyways, I'm going to try and avoid that wire since we just electrocuted someone with it. Uh, we're being a sprite. Okay. So we're looking for a capacitor. Where might we find a capacitor? Let's try the storage originally. Maybe someone kept them somewhere. Code lock. Maybe Chisholm knows the code. Convenience. Go for the glowing object. Apparently that works in this. Uh, let's see where. That's it. No, but that's this is Lady Chisholm. And again, in the miniskirt and the boots in the Arctic. Hello, Mr. Chisholm. Are you there? Why are you still here? I need to ask you a question. How are you doing in there? It's getting worse. You better get away. The doctor will help you. I know he will. You think so? I saw what happened to my friends. We've seen nothing of what's happened to you so well. Mr. Chisholm? Do you know where I can find a capacitor for the radio? It's broken and we need to warn Fort Cecil. There's a spare one in my locker. The code is 3245. Thank you! That is a pretty rubbish code, just saying. I mean, I realize a, a locker is probably not like, meant to be severely high security, but that's bad. Uh, now, which room was it? Ah, there we go. Over here. I don't even have to actually enter it. No. A capacitor. At least I hope that's what it is. <sighs> Skull would mistake a cup of tea for acid. Or possibly acid for a cup of tea. Possibly both ways. I'm not sure. Let's go put this in the thing. Warful and Cecil first. I can just remember which room it was. Over here. There we go. Now I just need to put the- So do it! Yeah. That should be straightforward. Where was this supposed to go? Ah, I see it. There. Now, let's see if we have a connection. Um, uh, the GSO to Fort Cecil. Hello? 
Roger and all that. GSO Zebra Bay, this is Fort Cecil leading you. Are you confirming the delivery? No, we have a, a, a situation here. We need you to hold off on that delivery. Don't come anywhere near here until we give you the green light. Is that clear? Why? Well, what is happening? Um, polar Wild flu. Outbreak. Really, really bad outbreak. We need to be quarantined just to be safe. Roger that. Let us know if we can help. Thanks. GSO out. Over and out. out. They really say that? Now, where did the doctor get to? Nope. Professor Meadows? Elizabeth? When I said stay here, I meant stay here. Why don't people do what I tell them? Well, let's see what I can do about this serum. Okay. Ooh, fact. Nanotechnology. So that they, those stick around, apparently. I hope. Oh, God. Test the microscope. Rotate the colors in the top right corner using the green buttons. The circling balls will take on any color they pass under. Match all the conditions in the top left green box to succeed. And holy hell, that's an interesting... Wow. Okay. More purple than blue. Very was easy. Also, how is that a microscope? <laughs> now to synthesize the serum. Synthesize now. Oh, okay. Rotate the colors in the top right corner using the green buttons. The circling balls went yes, 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 yes. Okay, more blue than orange, and as many orange as green. Okay. was completely accidental, but okay. Apparently I have now managed to... That bottom part says Cyber Cryo Interface. Interesting. Also, nice work over here where it says N4 Nobot Molecule. They're actually using Leet Speak up there. Ah, Amy, Enjoy. look. One synthesized nano serum. Who's a clever boy then? Yeah? Well, I fixed the radio and warned Fort Cecil. You're not the only brain box around here. You we didn't even it. know what you picked Brilliant. up. We can't allow anyone to get near this base. Cybermats are bad enough, but those Cybermen under the ice are something else entirely. We need to find out how close the Cyber Slaves are to releasing the Cybermen, and hope there's still time to stop them. All right. Where's Meadows? I don't know. When I got back, she'd gone. I don't like that at all. We should get the serum to Chisholm. You're right. First things first. I've developed a serum. It will reverse the nanovirus. Please, come down and take it. Are you sure it'll work? I've seen what happened to the others. I don't want to end up like that. I'd rather be dead. I can't be sure how long it will take to work, but believe me, you're going to be all right. Did you find Meadows? Yes, but now she's disappeared. Had she been infected? Apart from an injured arm, she seemed fine. But now I can't find her on the base. Any idea where she could have gone? Only the excavations. But that's where the cyber slaves are digging, isn't it? She's got to be mad. This whole project is hers. This is her team. She would do anything to save them. How do we get to the excavation? There's a lift. In the lab. Yes, I saw that. But the door had a heavy security lock. I'll get us past that. Okay, then. It's a closed environment. There's a retinal scanner to log who goes down there. Oh, 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 I don't think you're going any further. Let the serum do its job. I can handle things from here. He's 
going down for household appliances and homicidal cybermen. <laughs> yep, you are so funny. With that completely monotonous tone of voice, yeah. Careful. This place is crawling with cyber slaves. Looks like a network of tunnels. Why dig all those? Standard procedure in digs. You dig a cross pattern of trenches, or in this case, tunnels, until you find what you're looking for. And they found it? They weren't looking for what they found. If only they had never started to look. We need to be careful. Look, if I approach that edge now, he'll turn up right as I'm going across it. Okay. Go on there. Come in, come in, come in. How quick is this dude? Okay, shift your bum. I don't think he actually comes around this corner. Okay, yeah, he's turned around. So the next destination should be that next alcove. Right. World fact, absolute zero. William Thompson, he later became Lord Kelvin, devised a scale of temperature measurement like centigrade and Fahrenheit. The coldest point on the Kelvin scale is minus 273 degrees Celsius. This is known as absolute zero. It is an imaginary temperature. The coldest it can be. When matter gets very cold, its properties can change, so scientists want to rec recreate those low temperatures to observe what happens. Space can be very cold. The coldest known place in the universe is the Boomerang Nebula, which is minus 272 Celsius. Because if you get to absolute zero, the idea is nothing can happen anymore. It's too cold for actually anything to happen. If you're looking to preserve something, that's where you want to go. But <laughs> good luck pouring it out after that. Okay, I just need to get on it for more alcoves. Really? You think? I kind of figured that already. Okay, let's hop along here. This looks promising. Oop, and we stopped. Climb down, or we can move along here. We need to be careful. Gathered. Yeah, okay, there's one dude down here. Can we reach the alcove? No, we cannot because he's turned around. Come on, Amy. Come along, pond. Get, get around the corner. Get around the corner. Get around the corner. Oh, balls! I'm about to lose this because of her. Come on, move. Oh, good, he doesn't come all the way down. Whew. Good riddance to bad AI. Okay, if we know he's not going to come all the way down, let's watch for where he does turn around. Is it going to be soon? Yes, it is. There we go. Let's quickly carry along. I can see the alcove to his left. Which, of course, is also conveniently our left. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, have we just come in a big circle? Move, move, move. I don't think any of these guys turn corners, but looks it. Die! Oh, balls! 
had to be right as I said. <laughs> the moment that I say I don't think they turn corners, one of them does. Of course. Absolutely figures. Watch the doctor is so very sluggish in this, it's hard to run away from anything. Can we at least use the, use the sonic screwdriver for something around here? Daze them, at the least. Yeah, these guys are barely conscious, surely. All these cyber slaves look like they're patrolling, but I think we can slip past. Um, it's very certain we can, as long as they don't turn more corners on us. I guess we'll get back to those ladders and take that. Whoop, he's coming back. Okay, there is our ladder. Eat. Down we go. Okay, ignore the ladder then. Just, you know, drop. for this dude. It's on our right, and he's about to pass through it. Okay, let's get over here. And wait to see him turn around. I presume he's not going to come over here because we're standing, which means we're not in danger. Okay, now he's turning around. We need to be careful. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Into the alcove. Also knowing my look, they'll tag Amy whilst I'm escaping something. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, balls, oh, balls. Oh, good. Oh, we're cornered for a second, shouldn't we? In here, in here, in here. Okay, more letters. And a dude. Come on, hurry up. Come along, Bond. We should be safe now. I really like to examine some of the stuff around here. Seriously, why bother having the ladders as you, if you're just going to jump down? Look, I can't even climb them back up. Why bother having the ladders? We better be cautious here. You should set dressing. Okay, I don't see a cyber here, but... I bet you wants about to pass here. The question is, is he going to come down here as well? Cybers everywhere, so I don't know why I'm, what I'm being so scared about. Okay. Nothing there. Whoop. Do here. Whoa. Now that looks familiar. Must have crashed here before the last ice age. And it's just been waiting here for someone to dig it out. The Cybermen will be in suspended animation, but the ship will have been sentient since it crashed, listening for signs of life on the surface. When it heard the GSO excavating, it sent out the Cybermats. Clever stuff, really. And deadly. Once the Cybermen are awake, they'll complete their mission. Cyber conversion of every human being on Earth. Hmm. Those look very much like the tombs of the Cybermen, one of the oldest and most praised uh, Doctor Who serials. Okay, so we've got cyber sleeves running around. What's this way? Can we use this at all? Apparently we can. Amy, come stand on here. I'll start the lift. What about you? 
Well, there must be another lift up there that you can activate for me. Why are we even trying to get up that there? Rubbish. I need to get to the control room of that ship. I need to find out how close they are to waking the Cybermen. And I have to stop them. Just one animated Cyberman. That's all it could take to start converting the whole human race. Okay, let's do it. I love that we're just stood here, and despite we're routinely turning around, these cyber slaves have not remotely noticed us. And yet, rubber system, we even have to jump. Come on. Oh, and there is a glass hole. Blueberry jelly baby. Look, done it this episode, it seems. Okay, that must be for the dock. Control panel doesn't work. Uh, okay. How about this one? Seriously, how are they not noticing this? Right, Amy, press the button! I'll take this lift next, Doctor! We're, we're running around, we're yelling. We should be the most conspicuous people imaginable right now, and yet they haven't noticed us. But, uh, obviously I'll just hop over here, and I think we should call it an episode. So, as I wander around this area filled with Cyber Slave, a tomb of the Cybermen, which looks pretty awesome actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the slight nod to the Cybermen head design there in the engines. So, presumably the engines. Um, so, uh, that'll be it for this episode, and I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favourite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.